What's up, man? Hey. Oh, shit. You, you have again. an LED at the back, Jackson. Wack. No, you didn't have to. Come on, man. Now I'm. <laughs> What's going on? Come on now. What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. I, I'm in LA and um, just prepping, practice, 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 practice. And if I can, hit the gym and, you know, doing a lot of press for, uh, for, for, for blow. I mean, and missing you, bro, and missing Alex, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know what's so funny? I don't know if you, I don't know. I mean, do you kind of remember our conversation a little bit last year at all? Here, let me, uh, about I, brought, I brought a prop to remind you. Oh, is that for me? No, that's not for me, right? I mean, I'll ship it to you if you so want. Remember, you were wearing that, and I was like, damn, I, I want one. Do you want me to send it to you? <laughs> what size? Uh, what's your size? I mean, that's a medium right there. Oh, I, I like uh, X, 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 XL. Let's see what I can do for you. It's funny that you're wearing the Simpsons shirt too, because so I decided to go with cats with money. I decided to do that for what does today's that mean? interview. What does that mean though? What does that mean? I don't know. I've got two cats and they cost a lot. So that's about all I'm reading into oh. it. <laughs> no, for real though? Uh, they eat a lot. What can I say? Uh, that It's just a fun design. But I almost, almost wore a shirt that says steamed hams on it. Do you know that skit from The Simpsons? Good Lord, what is happening in there? Aurora Borealis. <laughs> I like Simpson. And I also like... Oh, what is that? What is that? SpongeBob? Yo, what is that called? Like that? It's like a naughty comic that oh my. guy is like... Are you talking about Matt Grenig, the guy who wrote The Simpsons? No, what is that called? Like, I forgot, but it was like, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. You just, you like adult themed animation. No, 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 no. Not even like, it's very violent. It's not violent, but it's a little not appropriate for kids. Like, I forgot. Okay. Well, hey, we're off to a great start here. Now, of course, I want to ask you some questions about the new song, Blow. You down for that? Hey, man, I'm here for that, man. That's okay. I'm here to see you, and I'm here to answer any question you have about me, bro. Let me, let me, tell, you, let me tell you, man, like, this year I'm having this album called Magic Man. Yeah. And the reason, and it's basically about, and I released my, um, my single called Blow, like, recently. And that's the beginning. It's not even chapter. Uh, yeah, it's chapter one. But it's like a short chapter one for Magic Man, my album Magic Man. And, mm -hmm. and long story short, it's about, you know, me going through this process and this and this journey and this path of exploring the new me and deciding on deciding to whoever I was in the past, whatever I did in the past, just boom, it's the best memory, best experience, so thankful, but I need to move on to accept the new me that was inside, that wasn't exposed. And this album in general, I would say it's more than music. It's more than a specific lyrics, or it's, it's more than lyrics, it's more than anything. It's more about the attitude and my sound and the change evolution of all these years in some way it's kind of like a, the taste the sense the, the 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 color tone is is me after evolving Right. Well, I mean, we do get to hear a brand new sound from you from this chapter one blow out now because, you know, I've played hundred ways on the radio. I've played your previous singles. This doesn't sound like any of them. This sounds brand new. It has a rock and roll edge. It, it sounds like an alternative song. So I was curious, who have you been listening to lately that's bringing this new sound out of you? I mean, I've always liked all genre of music and you know all these years I was just you know bumping around trying to find absorb like a sponge 
on, on different things like, oh, this, oh, this. And then while doing various things, I start, I, I was surprised like, oh, oh, I didn't know I could do that. And then, you know, and then it just doors kept opening, you know, and I'm finding myself, I'm, I'm actually like, it's like, I'm finding my direction. And I was searching for that, for that, for, for that, for, for, for years. And finally, I think Magic Man is at a point where I turned, damn, like, I, I didn't know this is the right direction. I didn't know that I had so much, like something about it, it's just, it, it just, it tells me that this is it, like, this is me. You, wow. you get me? I do. I do. I mean, we all have a time in our lives and I think multiple times where we're really searching for that direction. And I know I've done it before. I've seen countless other artists and creatives and historical figures do it. And it's really interesting that it's leading you down this brand new path. Now, I want to bring up a fan question. Now, this one came from Pastel Frisia, who wanted to know if the song Blow and the upcoming album Magic Man have anything to do storyline related with your previous songs. All the songs that I released in the past, it's more, um, it's still me, but um, how do you put it? How do I, how do I put it? Um, it was me trying to find out my the right direction. You know, it was, it was, it was me trying. I think, and it's very important to have those songs because that's my journey as an artist. You know, it's, it's, it's this, you get me? Like there, there's from, from nothing, something, 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 something. Until Magic Band where I found my direction. And all, and all I need to do not right now is from now on is keep evolving in that di specific direction. That begs the obvious question. Are you the Magic Man or is this a reference to someone else? Obviously, I am. You know why I call him Magic Man is because this is a thing. I there were there was a there. There were moments um, that was negative in my life. You know, like it's uh, you know, life is like a roller coaster. It's like a wave, right? There were there were some lows, and I'm not a person that I believe in communicating with people when i'm when i'm when i run into problems i never believed in that i always think it's a waste of time and then i started to and, and when i was in, in that moment and it's the first time for me to feel like you know words are so powerful you know communication i used to think that words are you know what what do you know about my problem you know like yeah, why would I even share it to you? Because it's my problem. I'll just find a solution. I'll just execute it and then it'll be solved. And I won't be, uh, you know, I'll, I will recover. But that was the first moment when I started to have a conversation with people like, and, 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 and with, with a group of people that's so positive around you that I realized words are so important. You know, words are really, really important like magical man is right. that where the idea comes from yeah because i've been suffering no not like i i was in that moment for a long time about a year okay i was i was in that moment and i wasn't feeling well and like i was kind of lost i didn't know what i was doing etc and then because of that i felt like i didn't know one sentence could feel as magical as as this you know and so then after that transition i turned into another me like i came back but with a different mindset and that's the magic man you know and even as you were feeling down you were not really feeling your true self still searching in the dark it's positive and uplifting to know that you were still able to accomplish everything that you did. 
So now that you've really kind of broken through, you've found maybe a greater purpose, you found a brand new sound to really latch onto. This might be a little bit of a loaded question, I guess, because, you know, the music business can be tricky sometimes. But what do you think you'll be able to accomplish now that you've really kind of figured out where you are deep down inside? Like, I, I think um, I'm so happy that I can create this album and I'm trying to deliver the fresh and new me, you know, that has been always inside, but it wasn't exposed before. I'm the, I, I'm the, I haven't been this raw in this album in my life. And, you know, and, and honestly, like I said, it's more than music, more than music. I think me delivering this on the table, no matter how much or how, no matter how many people can relate to it, it's the real me, you know, like, yeah. you feel me like fail success. Yes, I get that. But I'm, I don't have regrets on that because I'm being me. Right? Let's talk about the music video too, because that, really kind of brings forward a new look for you as well the blow music video looks very different than what we've seen from you before and i was curious so even as you find your authentic self you still get to kind of play dress up was that a pirate theme you were going for or more of a steampunk like what was the inspiration behind the look look there is a very specific message in this music video and the director and I, like, we, we all know about this. But the thing is, you know what? The, the, I think the beautiful thing is when people find out themselves or when they interpret it themselves, you know, I love that process. And I love to see that happen because different people have different feeling and, and, and how, they are, how they feel and what position what element from this music this music video that they are related to that that they can feel relate to because so when i think it, about or go yeah. ahead please go ahead no, I'm saying, like, just i just want to leave it for them to find out and you know i've i always tell them what the meaning of this is and what that is that you know what you mean so uh, it's just not fun to me anymore. You know what I mean? I want them to figure it out or interpret it their own way. The way that you kind of make it interesting for yourself now is you don't share that with the world. You I mean, don't share I, your I can, original I can, idea. Yeah, I can say this. Um, okay. Blow is an intro to Magic Man. And blow it's inviting everybody presenting to everybody the new world that we're about to go into and i'm like the leader of that world because it it's my world and, you are the magic man and yeah that's it that's like i i can only say until this the, the this much another fan question real quick jen asked about the 90s rock influence of blow and wanted to know if that's going to be what the rest of magic man sounds like so he or she is asking me to spoil this right now <laughs> when you put it like that i guess you can't quite answer it can you i'll just say it's it's so raw that i've ever been in my life one more fan question because you know we got to make sure that your wonderful supporters are recognized and they're very curious i love them about... by the way i love them by the way good good well they love you too they make that much clear every single day uh question from i think it's peach syaf was their username what was the most challenging part of filming that music video maybe the holding the smoke in your mouth until the right time or something like that not just this music video every music video every this is a process of production man like we have an idea we brainstorm and then we try to execute it that's the hardest part and then we have to execute it under a time limit 
right? Because because not like everything is like, oh, let's shoot a video and then just put it out. It's it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? The prep from brainstorming to prep uh, to prep execution and post production and strategy and like all this. This is the hardest part. You get what I mean? Like everybody has ideas, right? We 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 have great 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 ideas like hey let's go to the moon you know like we yeah crazy ideas but what about execution man right mm -hmm. so i think come on you, you know way more than me man let me ask you an honest personal question here because this is something if i can level with you real quick the more i deal in the music business sometimes the more jaded i become with it and you're talking a lot about the business end right now is that something you've had to struggle with is kind of i wouldn't say it's a struggle but okay. it's like solving a puzzle it's like solving rubik's cube but with a few hundred slots you know what i mean it's just yeah if one move goes wrong, bye bye. You get me? <laughs> one yeah. move is bye. So yeah, so it's it's that man. Like it's solving that puzzle, and 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 honestly, it's exciting for me. That's why you know, like I'm a workaholic, but I don't feel tortured because it doesn't feel like work to me, and I enjoyed it. It's something that I love, and. And, and, and sometimes, you know, you want to be the best, you want to be perfect. Well, it takes effort. That's it. And, and every time we have different puzzles and we have different Rubik's cubes, different Rubik's cubes. So it is what it is. So we just have to You just have to do it. Yeah. Let me make one more hypothetical what if question for you here because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Although, oh, man. go ahead, myself. go ahead, bro. I'm ready you for sure? you. Bro. Okay, Always. okay. I read that your last name, Wang, is a Chinese word, it can mean king. And so, I was curious if you were king for a day, either maybe you know, here in America or maybe overseas, but if you were king for a day anywhere, I guess. What would be the first thing you do to change the world? What would I do the first thing? Yeah. King of where? That's a good question. I mean, why don't we why don't we pick America, I guess, just to make it simple. If you were the one day only king of America, first thing you do is what? That's a very good question, man. The first thing I would do is Honestly, if I'm the king of earth, okay, I would make, if, I, if, if I'm the king of earth, then the first thing I would probably do is unite everyone into one nation. And wow. that's, that's earth. Interesting. Okay. Where are so you from, man? Where are you from? Oh, earth. Yeah. Earth, 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 earth. Hmm. You know, making one nation earth kind of, you know, people talk about like, okay, it's the thing that would bring earth together would be like, you know, aliens showing up. So do you think uh, if you were the king of the earth, you'd, uh, you'd go try to find some aliens out there? We're talking about my album release here, man. <laughs> Oh, and then we're not so where, yo, I would love to see if I will I would want to know if, if there's alien, but mm. before that, I want to release my magic man. Then probably I'll go find out like what's up. Okay, okay. Do you believe, well, in, that? Do you believe in that? I do actually. I do. What about you? No, honestly, man, I don't know. Like I think there is, but. It might look, I don't know, like, you know how like in movies and stuff, they think aliens look that way, look, looks like that, mm -hmm. but maybe it's not, maybe it looks like, maybe we're the alien, we, we never know, I'm just saying like, what if, right?
maybe it just looks like us or you know we are the one i don't know you get i don't know this but yeah it's just maybe it's not what it is in films or in cartoons right have you ever thought about that i have thought about that every now and then actually I, i've wondered before actually if you know maybe they're here and they're invisible like we're just kind of we exist amongst them maybe and they like, exist amongst if, us. maybe it's maybe if maybe it's like another universe yeah. right I, mean, I gotta say i gotta say normally when we're talking about album promo we, we never get this deep you know? <laughs> we never get into this territory let's i like go it even deeper, man let's go even deeper okay okay what else you got then no what i was saying maybe it's not what it is in films and you get what i mean like people think aliens have like two eye, big eyes black like dark eyes and then big head like a light bulb and like you get me like people tend to think that way but what if it's not maybe it's it's us man and we just don't know yeah <laughs> oh mind blown right there mind blown it's possible i guess everything's possible right do you like do you spend time awake at night thinking about things like this does it ever like actually cross your mind <laughs> you know what's funny i think what? about aliens and then like dang like what if this happened what if that happened and then blah, 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 and then i'm like and then i'm like what am i doing man like <laughs> what am i doing right now I feel like I'm watching the clock over here. I know I've gone way past my allotted time with you. And it's been like, you know, we've covered the album and we've covered the music business and we've covered a couple of, you know, King for a Day, whatever. And All right, man. All right. Thank you. Yo, thank you so much for having me, Alex. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. You are indeed the magic man. And we had a great conversation here, Jackson. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yo, I'll, I'll see you soon, yeah? I can't okay. wait to show you more of Magic Man.